Darlington Caleb was just saying that you, Lucas and Jonathan have expressed that you guys felt like you kind of got better this week. Um, what, what have you noticed maybe in the week since Colorado that you mm-hmm. makes you feel that way? Uh, I think we're just being more aggressive, you know, high up the field. I think that's something that we can take advantage of, uh, pressing the opponent, you know, which I think you saw in your game at home. So I think we've just been working on that and then build up as well. So I think uh, focusing on both ends of the field, I think we got better in that aspect of the, of the game today or this week. You look at the Atlanta game back in May, it certainly looks like a bit of a turning point for this team. What do you kind of remember about, I guess, the feeling mm-hmm. changing within the locker room from that game and, and moving forward? I think obviously a tough place to play. So going there and getting that road win, I think it was huge. I think the way we've done it, if I'm, if I'm remember mm-hmm. serves me right, I don't think we had too much of the ball, but I think it was gutsy. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone was performing, everyone worked hard, everyone defended after the early goal. So I think showing that we could play that way and win that way and get results on the road. Thanks for the time, Darlington. I appreciate it. Uh, you have a unique experience on the team because you played with both J- Joseph and Cucho. Mm-hmm. Um, this weekend, I know it is about two teams, but there's also two pretty big striker names in it. Do you kind of compare playing with both of them um, as midfielder who's worked so much with them over the last few years? No, it's similar. It's similar in how they play, how it's the stature as well, what they bring to the game, good in the air, finishing, excellent finisher. So they're kind of similar, similar in, in my opinion. And, you know, Kucho's kind of picked up and been doing great things for us, same way as Joseph has done for Atlanta. So two great strikers. I'm lucky to be lucky to have played with both of them and continue playing with Kucho. So it'll be a good game. Yeah. And uh, something Joseph does too is he's going to try to find space between the midfield and the back line. And it's something you just talk about playing higher up and um, having that be a focus, getting better there. Does having somebody like that also put something in the back of your head like, hey, I need to be careful because if we go too high up, he can exploit that? Oh, definitely. You know, I think you see the goals with Joseph and Kucho. You see the goals with those guys are both comfortable c- coming deeper, holding the ball, and you know, holding out wide, trying to create the game as well. So it's not just the goals when you play against those guys; you can do a little bit of everything. Thanks. Last time we saw you play Atlanta, Joseph gave you a kiss on the head. Is Kucho doing that yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. I knew Joseph a little longer than Kucho. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we haven't really got to see with you after All-Star. How was that experience and what what's it like playing with some of the best around the league as your teammate and not yeah. um, trying to stop them from being opponents? No, it was a good experience. Like you said, some of the best guys in the league. So it was nice to go out there. Some faces I already knew, some new faces, but it was good. Uh, you know, for me, it just shows that we have talented guys here as well. You know, that was what I got from it, going out there and playing with those guys, considered, considered the best and, you know, comparing to your teammates. And for me, it was just as fun. When you're, we heard from Caleb earlier about getting back-to-back wins at home and how that is an emphasized thing with this this squad of, that's not been, you haven't been able to do that here this year. What's What's been the missing piece? How do you really make a statement that it's going to be hard for teams to come into lower.com and walk away with anything? Well, I think just having a convincing win. You know, I think, like I've said in the past, performances at home have been good, you know, but the opponents made it difficult for us. We've had most of the game at home and difficult to find goals and maybe we get caught on the break. So I think the performances have been good. Just certain moments haven't been good, but overall it's been good. Mm-hmm. You know, so having the convincing win on, on Sunday will be the right step in the, yeah. in the right direction. It's going to be a busy one probably for the defense though with the front four going forward and how creative they are and the interchange that they have. What do you notice about your game when you play a team like that with a player like Luis Urujo who can get can pop up early in any space? Yeah, I think just being more aware, you know, when we are in attack, kind of the guys that are behind you in the, uh, on their attack, as we're moving the ball up the field, as we're creating chances, just being aware, you know, because they have dangerous players that can change the game in a moment. So I think that's the biggest issue that you come come across when you play against a very talented front four like they have. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.